All right. Today's going to be a fun day. Uh, got a couple updates and got something I got to take out of a box. Well, a few things actually. All right. So, not a lot of things have changed. I bought a couple new parts, worked on the cars a little bit, but I'll explain that later. I just got home from work, found these things sitting on my front porch, and I'm ready to see what is inside. So, got my box opening crammed it. Let's see what we got. These things weigh about 50 pounds each and I live downstairs and I think I sprained my ankle coming down the stairs started to slip and I decided falling back was better than falling forward and ankle twisted and it hurts really bad now thanks to these heavy boxes. Oh my god. These things are huge! These are square G6s. And originally, I was going to get 17 by 9 but when I called in Juku, they said that they were out and I would have to wait another month before they got them back in, so I decided to become a man and get some 18s. And these things are huge! Right now, okay. So I'm going to be running stock body for right now, as in rear quarters and front fenders be running stock, no over fenders or flares or anything like that. So my main concern with running 18s and being as low as I want to be is fitment issues and rubbing issues. So right now I think I'm going to run 205 40 18s on these. They're kind of small, kind of stretched, but it'll save me a lot of room. But once I get the 1UZ running and the car's driving and everything, I can see how the traction is, I can start slowly beating the wheel wells out, going up a tire size, or you know, doing stuff like that. But just for fitment issues right now, I'm just gonna do like a 20540. Square wheels, I have a couple buddies that's, that have them, and they've all liked them. I haven't seen any get bent yet. And for the price of these wheels, it, they're actually decent quality, because when I first saw them, I thought they were gonna be eh, somewhere around like $1,100 wheels. Start looking into them, and I actually got the set of 18s. I have all four. Got the whole set shipped for like 600 bucks. Which really isn't that bad. Other updates. Um, I got my back bumper back. Which was... Uh, I don't think you guys ever saw my old back bumper. It's just a super aggressive back bumper. I'll show you real quick. This is my old back bumper. It was just some aggressive one I ended up selling to my buddy. You can see it's been snapped in half right there. And some other cracks. But I got my back bumper back. I got another set of taillights, which are the D Max style tinted, which I put on my track car so I can take the OEM taillights I had on my track car and put them on my daily so the car's completely OEM now. It's on strut, stock struts and springs, teardrops. Stock tails, everything's stock right now, which is okay. Um, the daily is actually running kind of crappy right now. I think I have a leaky fuel injector, which I'm going to be messing with here in a couple of days. But once I get that going, I am putting the coilovers back on the daily because the stock suspensions try to kill me multiple times. The other night, I actually forgot to bring my GoPro with me, but I test fitted the 1UZ for the first time. Um, I don't really know why I test fitted it other than the fact if I wanted to see what it looked like in there. I wasn't too concentrated on it, 
so I didn't actually see the measurements. I didn't see if these are the right motor mounts that I needed to use because, like I said before, I have two sets. Not sure which ones are which. But I didn't check any of the clearances with that stuff. I didn't check from strut tower to strut tower, nothing really. I just kind of put it in there to inspire me to start doing more on it. Um, all I need to do right now is a throwout bearing and training bolts. And I can put the training on and I can mount the engine training into the car for the first time. Because it's probably going to be pulled out multiple times. But I'll do more on that the next time that I work on that car. Other than that, that's all I have for today. I just wanted to show you guys the new wheels and get you guys updated on what's going on right now. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope for the best that these things fit. <laughs> Hope you guys have a good night.